Hi guys, welcome back to my channel one more time. Today I am filming um, with all new products. Pretty much everything that I have here is new and I've been trying out for the past like week or so. Um, but I went and splurged on some makeup and I got myself the Tarte Concealer Girl. I got myself Mario Badescu Spray Water. I got myself the Anastasia Beverly Hill Stick Foundation. If I can find it. I'm over here like trying to be sneaky like where are you? Where is you? Where is the stick foundation at? Oh, there you are. Found it. Found it. That's what I was trying to say. But I went out and splurged a whole lot more than I should have. And I've just been having lots of fun playing with makeup. And I feel like I got my spark back a little more this time. So if you guys would like to see how I got this makeup look, if you guys would like to see what new products I've gotten and I've been trying, then definitely just keep watching, guys. I love you guys. Okay, guys. So my face feels a little tight. So I'm going to start with the e.l.f. Hydrating Water Essence. I'm just gonna put a little bit all over my face. I love the way this just hydrates my face. Mm. I have like these three stubborn pimples that are not going away like whatsoever. It's like three of them right there. And like these will go away, but these have been here for a while now and they're still there. So we're gonna cover that up today. Okay. I'm going to fill in my pores just like around here, which is where I have pores. Um, so I'm going to use the Professional Pore Primer. Grab just a little bit on my finger and then work it in in the areas where I need it, which is usually around here. And this is a sample, but I'm going to use uh, this one and I believe it's like a Becca primer i went to sephora and i told the lady i'm like i'm tired of being oily i just need something that holds my oils together um except this one was like what how much was it 38 dollars for a bottle and i was like well can i try it out first because honestly if it doesn't work and i don't like it then i'm probably not gonna end up buying it gave me a sample of it and i just like to put that on my nose because it's a very intense intense matte primer i don't know how i like it yet i know that definitely holds my oils together but there's some days where I have really really bad makeup days um, and I'm not sure if it's because of this primer so I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm going to spritz a little bit of this Mario Badescu skincare um, just like on the sides and on my forehead. <laughs> just let it sink in. I forgot to wash my beauty sponge. I'll be right back. On that, I am going to mix two foundations together today. I'm going to be using the Anastasia um, stick foundation in tan and that's what it looks like. I'm going to mix that with the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD foundation. This one is a nude beige. So what I like to do here is I like to grab this foundation. I like to just put like about three stripes on my face, one on my chin. And then I like to put like, and then I like to just kind of go around my nose, like that, right there. And that's about all I put on. I do a pump and a half of the LA Girl foundation. I just kind of dot it over it. Then I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend all of this. Out. Moving on to concealer, I'm using the Tarte Concealer in medium and medium light. Medium is a little too dark for me, um, it's closer to my skin tone, so I like to mix a little bit of light medium with it. And the reason why I mix light medium with it is because light medium is a little too light for me, so I kind of just put a little bit of both light medium on first. One little swipe in the inner corner, and then I like to put it against my nose to help with the contouring. I put it down my nose, forehead, my chin. Then I go in with medium, and I put that more towards like the outer part of my eye, and I like to put this on top of these. So I grab my beauty sponge and I blend out the inner corner first kind of and the side of my nose. I kind of just print like pounce it and then I'll do the outer part of the eye next. I 
so flawless that looks on me. set that concealer I'm gonna be using the makeup revolution luxury baking powder in banana and the only thing I don't like about this like it's a great powder and everything but I don't like the bottle it's so hard to like use it and I'm gonna try to blend out my creases underneath my eyes I just like to take my beauty sponge dip it into the banana powder I mean I like to dip it in I just press it into the under eye a little bit so I just like keep pouncing it in the same spot I like to go and grab some more go right on the side of my nose I just like to add it towards the outer part of my eye then bring it down whatever's left I just like to go on my eyelids and press that into my eyelids like that and I do a little bit of extra coverage on them. So I'm going to be using the medium concealer just because you can still see a little bit of red through the foundation. And then I'll just leave those like that and then we'll go back and cover them with setting powder. I'm going to set the rest of my face using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder Foundation in Camel 17. I'm going to use a big powder brush by Equate and I did a review over this brush and the brush collect the brush. What did I just say? The brush collection, and I'm still using it till this day, and I love, 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 love them. So go watch that if you haven't. So I just like to press it into my skin. with a smaller brush this is the airbrush concealer brush by a cosmetics gonna kind of set around the nose where i haven't set with the baking i'm just gonna go right in between and precisely set that and then also like my brows i like to set that with that as well so i'm gonna move on to bronzing our face i'm gonna be using the hula bronzer by benefit and I'm going to be using this brush. This is an Ulta brush. Um, and it's actually for blush. But I like to use it for my um, bronzing up. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that. Kind of just pass it through there. Do some extra contouring. I have to take this little brush that came with it. So this is a mini hula bronzer. There's a mini and a big hula bronzer. Um, and I got the mini one. And the mini one has a little brush like this. And it just kind of fits like perfectly. And it just kind of does the job for you. You guys see that? Be careful to not pick up too much hula bronzer. Because then I'll just like, you'll be walking around with just a straight line. I've done that mistake before. So I'm just going to, I like to go in circular motions. I like to put it like that and just blend it out nicely. Mm -hmm. For blush, I'm just going to go to an oldie. Um, this is Pandora's Face Pink Carnation. Take this um, brush by Equate Beauty as well, and it's the multi-purpose brush. It's one of my favorite ones to apply blush. So, I got the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but it wasn't my favorite, and I think my sister's currently using it just because it was not my favorite, and I probably need a different shade. I thought it was my shade, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'll try it. Give it another try, but not right now because I just don't want to deal with it. My brows haven't looked as nice as I, they usually do with the Brow Wiz, so I'm just going to skip that today. I'm going with the Smashbox, my what I use all the time, and I'm going to use my Beach Cosmetic Brush that I use all the time i've been trying to switch it up for my brows but it's not really been working okay guys so my eyebrows are done and i love them i'm glad i didn't i'm glad i went with what i was just used to this time because the past few days my eyebrows haven't been looking the best but today they look good. So, so I'm going to use something really fun today. I'm going to use the Jacqueline Hill palette. Oh, <laughs> that was backwards. <laughs> I'm going to use the Jacqueline Hill palette. Yay. So I don't know what I want to do today. We start with a big fluffy brush by NYX. This is my favorite brush ever. This, I don't even know what it is anymore because 
everything's rubbed off, but I love this brush. I'm going go with this shade right here. That is Creamsicle. The only bad thing about this is that it doesn't have a mirror, so I'm always like trying to look at myself, but there's no mirror there, so at least there's a nice message for all of us, right? So we're gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit, and we're gonna stick this right in our crease. We're gonna go in windshield wiper motions. We're keeping this right above the crease, blending it all the way out to the outer V. I'm gonna intensify this creamsicle um, sh um, color in the outer V. So I'm just gonna stamp with the same brush, and as you guys can see, I just like grab it, pick it up in my brush, and I just stamp it. I'm gonna add a little bit more just towards the outer V, and then blend. The trick here is to stamp and blend because you still want it to have a lot of pigment but you also don't want any harsh lines. Now, with a smaller brush, this is by Sephora, um, I'm going to go into this shade right here. Like the creamsicle color, that yellow color towards like the outer V and I want to keep that there. So I'm going to pick up this brownie, yellowy shade and just stick it right here so i'm stamping it and then at the end i'm going to blend it i know right now you guys can't really see anything it might take a few layers to kind of show up so you guys can see that like transition right there so i'm just picking it up and stamping it on the eyes like so so now i'm just bringing it into the crease but I'm not taking it as high as the yellow shade that we just used. And I'm also not taking it out here. I'm just keeping it right here and then bringing it in. To take a flat brush like this, this shade right here. I know this is kind of weird because it looks so dark, but for my skin tone, it would look good. So I'm going to pick up that shade right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lighten up the inner corner of the eye with this shade. If I if I would have used these two lighter shades, it would have been way too light for me and it just doesn't work out with my skin tone. If somebody, if I was doing this on somebody that was lighter, that would probably work out for them. But for my personal skin tone, you have to be careful with eyeshadows because you can put icy eyeshadows on that look pretty in the palette. But once you put them on, it might make you look like a crazy person. But if you like that, go for it. But for me, I don't like that. And I'm just going to stick that right in to my inner part of the eye. see how that just kind of brightened everything up. I'm going to put that creamsicle shade in the outer V a little bit more just because I want everyone to see that beautiful creamsicle shade. So pretty. I'm gonna go back in with that shade. The second shade that I use. I just want to kind of blend a little bit more of that in. Sometimes the trick is to just add and blend. Don't Add a little bit of a liner. I'm using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Like if I think about lining my eyes too much, it will come out really bad. So I just go for it. Go in and fluff away, away that powder now. We're going to move on to the lower lash line. Sometimes I don't like to put what I put on my top of the eye with, I don't like to put it on my lower lash line. So for something very neutral, um, but that will kind of make the look be, look put together, I'll go in with just this brush and I'll go in with my bronzer, the Hula bronzer. Okay, so then with the same bronzer, I'm going to go in with the little brush that I showed you guys by Hula and I'm just going to contour my nose a little bit. I'm going to go into the Carly Bible Deluxe Palette and I'm going to highlight my face. And I, I've just been liking to use my fingers honestly you guys. So I'll just hit the high points on my cheeks. My cupid's bow. Not on my chin. Oh I just put it on the pimple. Usually I avoid the pimple but you know whatever. I'm just going to put a tiny bit on my nose. Just a tiny bit because my nose gets oily already. So I don't want to put too much there. Highlighter, I'm using these two. And then to highlight my brow bone, I'm using this one right here. And I'm just going to go right under my brow bone and just 
highlight it. I'm just going to take that same thing and put it in my inner corner. So I added some lashes. Um, these are the Ardell Wispies. Um, and they're so pretty. Look at Tara. This is my little red trim mascara right here. Um, this is the Super Sizer by CoverGirl. I hate the wand on it, so I changed my wand from the CoverGirl one. So I changed it with it um, for the one from the Lash Paradise one, which just has a prettier, better wand. The lips. I'm going to be using this Ulta Lip Liner. Not my favorite lip liner, but it's the only lip liner that I have right now. And I'm overlining my lips a little bit. I'm going to finish off by baking underneath um, my contour just to make it a little bit more snatched. Snatched. I'm using that banana powder by Makeup Revolution. Right. Bring it like up to there. I'm just going to kind of like pat right here oh today I'm using the Huda Beauty liquid matte lipstick um, and it's in a shell I've been using this every single day ever since I've gotten it um, the formula is sticky but for some reason I like it And it just makes my lips look so much bigger for some reason. Like, my lips are not loose. So, I'm just going to fluff away that banana powder. I'm going to spritz my face with this Pearl Essence charcoal White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. And I'm just going to focus this right in the center of my face. I'm going to finish all that off with the Mario Badescu um, Facial Spray. The rose water one. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click your notification bell. Okay? Okay. So, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.